Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, rotation for your log files on your Rails apps. Um, basically I had some log files that were just eating up a huge amount of hard disk space. And I know you can do uh, log rotation through Linux, but you know you have to look that up and that's more complicated. So right in your Rails app you can actually do this. Uh, you just edit your config slash application.rb or your um, individual environment config slash environment slash uh, production for example either or but all you need to do is uh, set it up config dot logger equals logger dot new config dot pass key of log dot first and comma now here's the amount the number of uh, log files that you want to keep so I usually keep five um, and then comma the next value is the size of the log files so normally I would just say uh, you know if you wanted to do 20 megabytes you could do 20 dot megabytes and that would work normally in rails but um, because everything's not quite re finished requiring and everything, uh, you can't use the megabytes function. I've had errors with that, so you actually have to use the number four megabytes. So it's in kilobytes. So if you want 20 megabytes, it'll be 20 times 1,024 kilobytes. Um, and there you go. You save that, run your app, and it'll automatically rotate your log files. I'll show you an example here. As you can see, we've got the regular log, and then you have these dot zero, dot one. It'll go up to dot four because I chose five files. But uh, that's it. That's all it takes. Super simple, and it's a pure Ruby solution. Um, the only issue I ever had was that if your production environment it runs as root, which it shouldn't, um, you might get permissions errors, and you might have to use the built-in Linux methods. But that's it. Thanks for watching.